everyone, welcome to today's program about Zhu Xi. After the subjugation of the Northern Song Dynasty, Zhu Xi was born on September 15th, the first year of Jianyan 1130, the last autumn of the fourth year of the founding of the Southern Song Dynasty. His father, Zhu Song, a native of Wuyuan Huizhou, was a Jin Shi in the eighth year of Zhenghe 1118 and a government official. And his mother, Zhu Wuyang from Shi County, was born in a wealthy family and received a good family education. When Zhu Xi was three years old, he was brought by his parents to live in Shi Jintao Quanzhou on the coast of Fujian province. On the night of May Autumn Festival in August, a bright moon rising from the sea, his mom told the children the fairy tales of Chang'e running to the moon, jet rabbits pounding medicine, and wugang holding wine, which aroused little Zhu Xi's curiosity about the mysterious world. When Zhu Xi was five years old, the whole family returned to the rented dwelling place in the south of Yuxi city, for his father was recruited by the imperial court. The father said that his youngest son must be different from other children, so he sent little Zhu Xi to a private primary school near his residence early to study. One day, little Zhu Xi looked up at a deep sky and asked his father, what is the sun attacked to? The father said, to the sky. Little Zhu Xi asked again, then what is the sky attacked to? But this time, the father couldn't answer. So Zhu Xi, since five or six years old, had been wondering, what is beyond the four sides of heaven and earth? People answer that the four directions were boundless. But Zhu Xi thought and believed that there must be an end. This was a problem that countless adults had never been seriously considered. After school, little Zhu Xi often went to the sandbank in front of his dwelling place with a group of children to play. One day, it was the lunch time, and the father did not see his younger son coming home. So he went to look for him and found that little Zhu Xi was sitting alone and drawing on the sand with his fingers. When he got closer, he was surprised to find that it was an Ed Diagram's picture. Therefore, the father, though surprised by his son's behavior, felt delighted that his son was wise and malleable. That's the end of our program for today. See you next time.